Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Quantum Leap for City Kings 2. Quantum Leap Improved, that is. So we've just disbanded all of our dudes, and we can immediately declare war. We're gonna ignore this little tiny war that Kiev is taking forever to win. And yeah, we've pissed off this Godariki guy enough, I think, and it's time for some retribution. He's got 6,200 men. Um, we've got more than that. We've got uh, a significantly depleted personal levy right now. So what we might do is just raise our vassals and let ours replenish for a year or two. This is still, what, 7,000 versus his 6, so we should be fine. We'll just declare the war and get started. He'll get a tiny bit larger levy after we declare, though, because he will be defending versus foreigners. You always have to factor that in. But I still think we can win. We've got a little bit of money for mercenaries. Let's go ahead and use that money for mercenaries, because, you know, reasons. And we'll make the borders pretty. We'll, we'll just go for... Normally, I would go for home guard or something like that. You know, a big, big duchy. Where we gain a lot of value from the war. But for the sake of having this thing have pretty borders, we'll just go for these two. Oh, we actually don't have enough piety to declare a holy war. Awesome! <laughs> okay, well, fine. We're going to do the du jour war on Dinah. Keep it back, you bastard. Alright, so we'll rally all the things to over here. Our vassals love us a lot now. Well, the main one, the one that matters, does. We have some that really hate us. Negative 80. Raised levies, desires the kingdom of Bohemia. Eh, you know what happens. My liege, my network of spies here in Zayuzir. Zayuzerir. Have found out that the local noble's homosexual. Well, since we are trying to get... Uh, oh, he's a, he's a kid. Well, shoot, I was really hoping to plot against the old man, but apparently his old man died. Of great pox. Just a month ago. Nope. 908. A year ago. Yeah, spread some rumors about him. I don't want to... Just, just let everyone know that he's homosexual. That ought to be fun. All right, now, it's not necessarily guaranteed to be this one. I wish... That that event said what it was, you know, like instead of saying a local noble, like tell me who is it, <laughs> what is who is the local noble? Who the hell are you talking about? You know, is it is it the duke? Is it the mayor? Which which one of these characters in this court did you just flag as a homosexual? Would you please tell me? I would love to know who it is. Is it just somebody else in his court that you just said is a homosexual? Like I, I want to know who it is. A local noble. Rest assured, someone in this guy's court's got to be homosexual now. Oh well, I give up. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe the event takes a little while to fire or something, but... It's not very clear, you know? Convert to local religion. <laughs> that actually allows us to change back to a completely different religion. That's no, because our capital ended up over there, but... That's okay. I just want to win this war with uh, Godariki. And then I've been thinking about it quite a bit. And if there are any Jewish characters left. Yes, we have an Ethiopian Jewish. Um, Duke Semyon here is defending against what? Semyon Samaritan Upro... Upro oh, we're not paused. The Holy War for Semyon. Yeah, he's probably going to lose to that count. Probably also going to lose to him. Yeah, it looks like Jewish stuff is about to go away. But we'll, we'll take a look at the actual provinces and see if maybe we can find one. Or at the very least, we could do like Myophysite or Monophysite. Something. We could try to make... Try to form this empire down here. Or the other one was the Zoroastrians, which it may have already be too late. It's been like 30 years. And then we actually have Man Manchian. The Manchian religion. It's a heresy of Zoroastrian. We also have a Jewish province. It's led by Kumin Tengriz, though. Yeah, restoring the Turkish Zoroastrians would be incredibly hard. But we could try it. I mean, there's no, no shame in trying. But for now, let's just uh, untoggle the looters and we'll go siege down this holding that we've weakened. We're not going to use the overly exploitative strategy of double sieging. I feel kind of guilty doing that. You know, it's kind of cheap. 
And really, I'd rather not piss somebody off for nine troops. It's, a sec it's effectively the same thing, though. I mean, you know, we loot it, and then we come in and siege it a couple months later. It's still really weak. It's just not quite as weak as it was a second ago. Looks like we're going to move up into Smolesk. Ja. Got 7,000 men to his how many? He's got seven. So we might want to stay... Yeah, let's, let's go back up to Dinah. No, 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 no. You're not going to go that way. That's just foolish. End up suffering crazy attrition. King Aishno of Lithuania has declared the Lithuanian Zemgalian de jure war over Zemgale. So he's trying to attack my... Hold on now. I would have transferred him to you. So his war ended. And now he's decided that it's time to fight. Okay, you know, whatever. Whatever you say, man. We still have our personal levy to raise. 1,100. We might need those. The regency has ended. We became an elusive shadow. And my twin became a, uh, a what now? A genius thrifty clerk. Oh, if only we were Zoroastrian. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to do that. Okay, so what do we want to marry? We should get a good alliance for this character. We're not going to end up playing another character, probably, uh, in this jump. And it would be a good idea to put him in a, in a good position. There's not going to be really anybody, though, for alliances, because we're the last... We're the only religion. We're Ramava. So I guess we just marry for... Strong? Maybe? Eh, what's, what's a little bit of kissing cousins among em empires? Whatever. She's a genius. Let's keep it in the family. I will take the prestige. Why not? Overall, our attributes are pretty bad. We'll try to improve our diplomacy, I think. And we just need to win this war so we can get ready to jump. I really, I just, I want to take advantage of the defensive terrain just one time. You know? Come at me. Come fight us. It's totally safe. But in my experience, I think that this is like the one... Wow, she got pregnant quick. Holy crap. We, uh, we didn't have any issue <laughs> kissing cousins there. But, um, it's like the one time that the AI is actually smart is in recognizing that your troops have defensive bonuses. Like that one, I, th I think. Here, let's go to this province here and see if he'll meet us. Nope, for some reason when I come back into, our, into this territory, he stops trying to come here. Still, even if we're in offensive territory, if he's planning on coming through Orsha into Lepiel, he'll end up crossing a major river. So that should be sufficient defensive bonus to win. Put our experimenter in the center, because what could possibly go wrong? We could also raise crown law. We might as well. We already have the level raised. Levy raised. Oh, actually, looks like he is coming into this province. We're going to leave. We do not want to fight him straight up. We'll be way too close. Oh, he's assaulting Orsha. Interesting. Hey, you're in our, you're in our territory, man. I don't know if you want to stay here. Get the hell out. You better run. No river crossing. Nope. Okay, let's see. I think, even though he's got it occupied... Oh, shoot, it's Slavic. Nope. No, no, no. We want to fight over here in uh, Ramava territory, please. Let's just do a little quick check. Um, I think you see it here. Actually, it doesn't say it on it. I mean, this, this tooltip changed. Additional modifier in provinces of this religion. Okay, yeah, it's still it's still there, but yeah, we need to fight in Vinius. So let's see if we can set up some bait. Lepiel, 28th. Oh, he's going to come catch us. Looks like he decided he wanted to fight. 
Oh well, well, we have more men than you do, so I guess maybe we'll be okay. Why do we suddenly gain more men? These aren't my commanders. Who is this guy? Apparently he didn't like his troops being, his like territory being invaded and he just raised up his own men or something. Good job, AI. Well, that was excellent. Why do we have negative 18%? What? Why was that battle, why, that was a massive battle and it didn't count? Because there's 300 men from Kiev? You've got to be kidding me. That's not cool at all. So he contributes 300 men and then we get 0% war score for it. <laughs> awesome. Cool, man. And we already have a son. Major River, 2 to 1. Might not work out so well for us. Oh, you know what? Oh, crap, 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 crap. He's Slavic. He gets defensive bonuses, too. Damn it. <laughs> so we just attacked into a province where they have defensive bonuses. That's, that's a brilliant strategy there. Okay. Well, it pays to have a, a clean border of religion then, so let's try to convert Orsha. We'll salt this back. Hey, we're not the leader of this. Oh, that's okay. So he, he raised up his men. What is this, Kiev? Raised up his men to take that back after it got occupied. And ended up screwing us over on the assault, or on the, on the battle. And he's still, with his 400 damn little men, not letting us control the siege. You stink. Alright, give me all the things. we got to win this war. This is for, for our honor here. Hmm. Still have not been able to move my capital. We just need to catch him doing something wrong. Block to revoke the county of Orsha. Plot to revoke the county of Memel. We're below our domain limit, so it couldn't hurt. To, to try to take his plot, his, his territory. It's not particularly good territory, but I mean, it's just... Eh. I don't really want to get at war with our own our own people. Ah, I can't believe how, how badly that went. The fact that we didn't get like 60% war score for winning that battle. I mean, clearly, he contributed 300 men, we contributed 7,000. We were what won that battle. <clears throat> The extra 500 men were nice, but they certainly didn't win us the battle. Alright, we've got six. What are you at? 27. Alright, I think we're okay. Twenty-one percent for that battle. See we didn't we didn't get credit for a battle we should have won. And then we lost a huge amount to a battle that uh, I foolishly took. Oh well. Live and learn. We'll still win the war. Probably not without a battle or two. But a big part of this will go away. You know, he's gonna... He's gonna lose his ticking war score, so 28% swing in our favor. Yeah, we're not gonna risk it. Straight up combat, he's still in defensive terrain. Although the religion is... Old Ramava. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll just stay together then. Getting the war goal, goal is more important than trying to go and fight his army. And I was also considering raising mercenaries, wasn't I? Probably should have done that. Wouldn't have been the worst of ideas. Nice job creating a duchy. We're proud of you, son. Our king. Not our son, but our chancellor. He hasn't managed to get his wife pregnant yet. I didn't even read that. What was that? I just completely... I just autopilot. Just clicked it. Ooh, a pop-up. Click. It's probably the same same event as that one. Off to the dungeons. Ooh. Who was that? High Chieftest of Estonia. She's fancy. I think we leave you there.
We could take her as a concubine, but I don't think we really need one. Let's see, is she is she a, a fancy woman? Yeah, she is. Fine. She's ours now, 31-year-old woman. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say about her. Alright, I guess we go fight now. There is a river crossing. So crossing a river... Low supply limit both here and here, so trying to walk around slow. Good supply limit in Dorpat, but Dorpat's got a river crossing there too. Narva, river, yeah, river, river, river. Good supply up to there. If we got all the way up to Ingria, we could walk around, but by the time we get up there, he'll just be in, in this one. So let's go to Latgale and see if he's dumb enough to just walk right into here. Oh, you're leaving! <laughs> Welcome, come on, just come on over, yep. Thank you <laughs> for allowing us to avoid any river crossing penalties. Let's see, are you getting your defensive bonuses? This is a old Ramava. Yeah, no, you should not be getting a bonus. Nothing. I mean, it's, they're, they're pretty high overall, but that's just because of the tactic. What about us? Old Ramava? Does that count as Ramava? Probably not. Technology. Yeah, looks like old Ramava doesn't count. That stinks. It's still Ramava. Alright, do we wander into the low supply limit? See, look at how much that was. It's 20% for that battle. That previous battle would have been monstrous. Some of the 800 men, we'll just wander in there. We'll, we'll lose some men to attrition, but we'll kill that army. And then go home. Head to Dorpat. Go siege that down. I will say that this has taken a little bit longer than I expected. I thought we'd just wrap this up in one little quick 15 minutes, but I messed up. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It does happen. Still can't pass limited crown law. People don't like us that much. We got problems. Personal diplomacy is terrible. We already have a long rain bonus, though. Maybe we do spend our points, our technology points. We have a few hundred saved up. And granted, the AI is going to do whatever they want with it. I just we'll just let the AI mess with it when we when we put it in the AI's capable control. We'll watch our beautiful empire fall apart. Give me my land back. We're not the largest in the world. But I feel like this is a pretty good point, you know? We'll win this war and then we'll call it good. Winnish Empire, I mean, that's a force to contend with. It's strong. Don't you think? I know I do. There's a surrender. We accept your surrender, pansy. All right, still have negative 455 piety or so. That's fun. And yeah, I think this is a good spot to, to take a break. So, all right, I am going to take a little bit of time off camera to look around and see if we can find somebody. I do appreciate your comments on who we should play next. It's either going to be most likely a Jewish or a Zoroastrian, unless after having looked at it, it's completely impossible to make them work. Although even even if we do, we'll just try it. And then if we just die miserably, then, well, we tried. So it's going to be one of those. I'm going to look around a bit, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, where we will make our first jump. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.